Hello, my friends. This is Rufio Jones. This is another Allow Me. Now, um, I know that you know that I have a very unrequited relationship with Oreo. Um, I find myself in some way, shape, or form promoting their product and me not getting anything back from them, not even a cool thumbs up. But it's fine. I'm not mad about it. I'm just disappointed. Now that I've said that, um, Post, the company most known for making cereals, they have aligned themselves with Oreos. They uh, they brought back Oreo O's. And I was at the store, and I saw that it wasn't just Oreo. Now they have a Nutter Butter cereal. They have a, a Honey May S'more cereal. They have a Chips Ahoy cereal. And apparently, now I can look down here to see this, they also have um, Nilla Banana Pudding cereal. So, as awesome as all of those sound, and how much I would love to try uh, any one of them, I found that I couldn't pass up um, this right here. Golden Oreo O's. Can, can, you, can you believe this? And I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but I had to, just like last time, purchase the gigantic box because this is the only box apparently that it comes in. But, uh... They they even had the audacity to say it's not a dream. So it's like so somebody that works for Post couldn't even believe that that they were doing this apparently. Um, so yeah, you you've likely had the golden Oreo. It's the uh, vanilla flavored Oreo, and on the back it says, <coughs> "Excuse me, uh, is this a dream? Golden crunchy O's in a rich." Crim coating combined to bring that golden Oreo cookie taste you love to your breakfast table. So incredibly delicious. You might want to pinch yourself, but not too hard because it's not a dream. Try all of our great flavors that I was reading you earlier. So they are really tripping over there at Post, and I hope it's not the drug induced kind. Um, smells great, <laughs> first of all. Um, I'm considering just trying one of these. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to try one as is. Even before, like, adding the milk. Um, I mean, it's, it's good. It, it kind of reminds me of Fruit Loops. But, like, uh... You know how all the Fruit Loops kind of have one flavor, <laughs> but it, it definitely tastes like it's supposed to. Go ahead and empty that out so that milk is done. Move it around a bit. I almost feel like you know, like I said, it, it, it had the, the creme coating on it. It almost seems like the milk activates the, the coating in some way, shape, or form. So it's like I can taste it more than I could when I just, uh, you know, pop the, the golden Oreo O in my mouth. Um, Listen, man, these are really good. Um, It's just that um, it's, it's not it's not crazy different from you know, Apple Jacks or Fruit Loops or whatever have you. So, it's just the fact that this box is so big. Like, all the boxes were $4. For They were $4 for uh, 19 ounces, ounces. So, you know, a pound and some change. And that's not a bad price. Um, you know, but but again, like, uh, there, there are Apple Jacks, there are Fruit Loops. So, there are things like this that already exist to some degree. Where it's like, it's it's not like that much different. So, you know, if you don't want to pay $4 for cereal, then you could definitely go for one of those. But, man, I'm definitely going to smash these. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I feel like... I feel like I'm going to be eating these every day. 
until the box is empty. Um, and I may even decide to like do something weird with this, like uh, crush them up and and crush some French toast or something. So they're very good. I, I hope that what I was saying earlier didn't discourage you. I'm just saying that like uh, just having them for the sake of having them is one thing. Like that's what I'm doing, but you don't have to feel like you have to you know, go to every store and find it because it's not that different from, you know, any other cereal of its ilk that is probably in an old form. Hope that helps. I'm going to knock these out and that entire box maybe in the next couple of days. See y'all later.